This tutorial demonstrates how to connect your laser disto to your PC or laptop. You will require a Windows-based PC and a disto laser. First, activate the Bluetooth on your PC. You should see a Bluetooth icon in the system's tray on your PC. Next, turn on the disto using the red on button, followed by the Bluetooth button. The disto is now actively searching for the computer's Bluetooth radio signal. To connect your disto to the PC, click the Bluetooth icon on the taskbar. This will activate a pop-out menu. Next, choose Add a Device and select the di disto. If, you, if your computer prompts you for a code to connect to the disto, select the option. Enter the device's pairing code and enter 0000, zero, zero, zero the manufacturer's preset code. Once you have connected your device, the connection process is automatic. Okay, let's take a look how to connect your disto to FEP. First, make sure your disto is turned on and the Bluetooth function is activated. You will see a Bluetooth symbol blinking on the upper right corner of the screen on your disto. Next, open FEP and click on the disto command, located on the Import Function group on the ribbon toolbar. A successful connection is confirmed when you hear a long beep signal on the disto. Other indicators include a solid Bluetooth icon on the disto. Your PC will also display a notification window and a blue arrow at the top left corner of the plotting screen. It is important to remember to press the second button on your disto. Pressing the second key allows you to control the blue or red arrow functions with an FEP using the function buttons on your disto. To start your takeoff, FEP prompts a user to select a starting point. You can use the arrow keys on the disto keypad to move the blue arrow around the plotting surface. If you prefer to start your pointing in another direction, by default it is located on the top left corner of your screen. The arrow points south. Press the upper left key to flip the arrow's directions 180 degrees. Once you are ready to begin plotting, press the lower left key on the disto to enter drawing mode. The blue arrow will turn red indicating you are in drawing mode. Okay, let's draw the first room. In this example we will draw a simple rectangle. To take the first measurement using the disto and press the Bluetooth icon on the disto to transmit the measurement to FEP. It should be noted the drawing arrow will rotate 90 degrees clockwise automatically, ready for the next wall to be drawn. Take your next measurement and transmit it into FEP using the Bluetooth key. If the room is rectangular or square, you only need to measure the width and the length. Pressing the lower left key will automatically complete the remaining walls of the rectangle or square. To draw shapes other than rectangle or square, you may change the red arrow directions and continue. To draw shapes other than rectangle or square, you may change the red arrow directions and continue to draw the second wall clockwise or counterclockwise. To change the direction of the red arrow, press the upper right hand bo button to rotate the arrow by 45 degrees in increment. If a mistake is made during the room measurement, undo a step by pressing the upper center menu button once or redo. By pressing the lower center timer button once, to close the shape, the last wall does not need to be measured. Simply press the lower key to close the room. Okay, you may need to draw a shape with angles. If there is an only one unknown angle, start the room drawing from one of its ends. The measure around the rest of the walls with 45 degrees or 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise turns. Close the room shape using the lower left key so the angled wall is complete. Rooms with multiple angles require a little more thought as to where to take the measurements from. 
The, the diagram on the screen shows a shape with multiple angles and an example where measurements were taken to the complete the shape with a distal. Please download the PDF or working file if you require further time to study the concept. Curved walls can be challenging, however, a little more thought to Curved walls can be challenging, however, a little more thought to where the measurements will prove to be beneficial in the long run. If there is a curved wall, just measure the span of the arch, continue measuring the rest of the walls, close the room, then measure the rise of the arch and manually, manually turn the straight walls into an arch with an arc command from the takeoff tab in FEP. Once you have closed your first shape, the arrow will turn blue. You can now select a new start point or use the upper right key to move the arrow from a corner to another corner of the shape you have just drawn. If there, is a if there is a closet or wardrobe attached to the room you have drawn or inside a room, measure it as a separate room. Then manually move it and attach it to the room or use the embed command. Okay, let's look at a few tricks that can be useful when measuring with your distal and FEP. First, let's look at how to draw an angled wall. Any angled wall can be drawn using the boxing method. Please take a few moments or pause this video to absorb the illustration on your screen. You can also download distal tips, FEPX file for further instructions. You may need to measure through doorways using the following process to complete this task. The diagram on your screen demonstrates the two measurements required. First measure between A and C. Next turn off the second mode on your distal. Then press the minus key. Next take the measurement between B and C. And press the equals key on your distal. Reactivate the second function on the distal and transmit the measurement to FEP. Once all the rooms are measured, press the lower right key to exit distal mode. Turn off the distal and use a stylus pin or finger to adjust the room locations. For example, snapping walls of adjacent rooms together making minor adjustments for odd angles and also making notes for installation conditions on subfloor materials and furniture removals, etc.